Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I want to show you how you can stretch your supplies to use them in different ways and have more options when you create your cards. So I am using today um, mainly a stamp uh, set by um, Pretty Pink Posh. It's called Rainy Days and I have a lot of scrap paper left over so I was just uh, figuring out where I could stamp my umbrella. And I'm going to color it quite easily. You know, you can do um, light sources and shading and shadows and whatever. But I know that some of you are not like are intimidated by this. And so I figured, you know what, you can probably just do easy coloring and still get a really nice effect. So I'm uh, using colors here in the order of the color wheel. Um, if you Google color wheel, you will see in which order the colors are. And it's usually very pleasing to the eye to use colors in that order. So I decided to just have this very simple coloring one color as a base color. And then I grab my um, colorless blender. And if you press it onto a colored surface like that you colored with alcohol markers, the colorless blender can lift some of the color. It will not erase it completely, but it can lift some of the color away. And that gives you a very subtle pattern. Now there is a matching die, matching die set for this stamp set, but I didn't have that at hand. Uh, it might have been that I've already that I had already packed my stuff up for my move. So uh, what I did here was just grab my scissors and fuzzy cut this out. It's a very easy shape. There's nothing fancy that you have to be aware of here. So it's quite easy to cut out, as you can see. Now on my card base, I'm using uh, the solid cloud stamp from the same stamp set, Rainy Days. And uh, I'm always positioning my umbrella there. And then I am um, stamping my clouds so I can make sure that the umbrella will cover some of the clouds. That will give you additional dimension if you cover some elements with others. It gives the card depth. Now, I had decided I wanted to do some extra stuff, but there's no shading. All I'm doing is I'm grabbing a color that is slightly darker than the base color that I used for coloring, and I'm adding a few dots on the bottom of the umbrella. And that's all I'm doing. There's no fancy shading going on here. You don't have to worry about light sources or anything. I'm just adding a few dots at the bottom of the umbrella. You could do them over the entire section, or you could do them only at the top. I decided to do them uh, on the bottom simply because I thought that looked cool. You could maybe even use a silver pen or a white gel pen to add some highlights and that gives your um, uh, this little umbrella a lot of um, um, like texture, makes it more, more interesting. Now what I had done before, because you're probably wondering what on earth is she doing here? I'm using a Copic fine liner to draw in um, these lines and what I'm doing is I'm using the umbrella as a parachute and I placed it on my card base here previously and marked the tips of that umbrella with a pencil so I knew from where to draw these Copic lines. It's not 100% perfect because I messed up a little bit but I can fix that by just moving around the umbrella a bit. And now that I've attached it you can see it is a parachute. See, told you, you can stretch your supplies. And of course, you know, it's a card for Pretty Pink Posh. So, of course, I had to um, add some sequence. Well, first of all, of course, I had to add a sentiment. And this is also from Pretty Pink Posh from one of the newer stamp sets. The panda, by the way, is from Mama Elephant from a stamp set called Pandemonium. <coughs> Excuse me, please. And now I've sprinkled some of the tiny iridescent stars um, sequence on this card and I'm using my glossy accents with a fine tip applicator to adhere them to the card. The quick stick is really useful in this case because it makes it very easy to pick up the star and then to place it back down onto the glue. And now I have this really really nice shimmer and glitter on my card but it doesn't really add any extra dimensions because these tiny stars are flat. And you can see how nicely this shimmers. So I hope you've enjoyed the card. Um, if you've got inspired, let me know. If you have any comments, just let me know in the um, comments below. And I would love if you would subscribe. There are a lot more awesome videos to come. Cheers!